Hey everyone, in this video I am going to teach you how to use the new automatic background remover. I'm also going to go over the manual functions of it as well. That way, even if you do not have uh, Cricut access, which is required for the automatic background removal, you will be able to still understand how to do this. It'll just take a little bit longer, potentially. I'm going to be bringing in a photo here to show you guys, and I'm going to be saving it as a cut image with the intention of using it in a, a design that we'll be creating in Cricut Design Space. All right, so here I am in Cricut Design Space. I've opened up a fresh canvas by clicking on the new button if you're on the home page that looks like this. Then you'll just wanna click on new project in order to open up a brand new canvas. I'm gonna head over to the canvas that I already have opened. We're gonna upload our photo just as we would any other SVG or JPEG or PNG image. So I'm gonna be uploading the image right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and browse my computer. I'm going to go over to my image here, which is a golden retriever image, and I'm going to click on the complex. When this comes in, it's going to ask you simple, moderately complex, or complex. I can say I almost always select complex because you can always take away details, but you can't ever add them back when they've been stripped away. So I pretty much always tell people just select complex as the default in this case here, anytime you're uploading a PNG or JPEG image. Let's cl click continue. <clears throat> and we're going to see it load here. And before the automatic background removal was around, you would just see these manual selection options. So if you want to use the automatic background remover, remover, you're going to have to have Cricut access. That is just a feature that they have added for subscribers. And if you do not, you can still use these select and erase features down here for free. So those are um, completely free. Um, if you do not have the Cricut access. So this is uh, just something to be aware of depending on if you pay that $9.99 a month or not. You'll also see a little option down here that says more options. If you click on that, it will reveal um, a few other things here like if you would like to modify um, the number of colors that is in the photo or the tolerance of the colors. I can say 99% of the time I never even touch that. So uh, don't really worry about it at this point in time. So let me first show you what it was like when we just had these manual options here for removing the background. My goal is to get the puppy to be cut out because what I want is I want the silhouette of the dog and then I'm going to be putting some words inside of the dog. So I'm looking for the silhouette option here as a cut file and I want to get rid of all this greenery background here. And before we had the automatic background removal uh, you had to use the selection tool and it would default to the selection tool which and it still does that now so even if you want to use this uh, automatic remover uh, you'll still have the manual selection tool as the default when you bring it in and you'll know that's the default because if you hover over the image there's a little plus icon that appears that you can see there so before the automatic remover uh, we had to click onto our background in our image here and it would remove it in parts and this varies greatly on uh, what the image is like. Sometimes if you have like a white background, it will get rid of it in one click and you'll have no problems. If you have a complex background, um, it will be very difficult. This would be considered a moderate to complex background. So we would have to spend quite a bit of time clicking around in here to remove the background pieces. And then even once we've spent time clicking around in here, we will probably still have to grab that eraser tool, which is the second tool over. And we'd probably have to increase our eraser size. And the eraser size isn't even that big, even when it's fully cranked up to 100. And then we would have to come in here with these smaller parts and we'd have to erase them in order to get this uh, background completely cleaned up. So it's definitely a little bit more of a time consuming process than what this automatic uh, background remover is going to be able to do for us. So I'm going to undo this. There's an undo button right up here at the top. So I'm just clicking the undo button here to put the image back the way it was. All right, there it is at our original point. Before I go into the automatic remover, um, I also just want to note up here that you can crop away parts of the image as well. So if you want to, you can come in here with this crop tool and we could just select closer to the dog. And then that way we're not trying to waste our time with um, 
all that extra green background if we had to manually erase things if you don't have Cricut access this would at least save you a little bit of time by being able to crop and the crop tool is free too all right so now that I've cropped that down I'm gonna hit the remove background option and it's going to take care of removing that background for me scrolling down all right that did a pretty good job overall because remember I'm gonna be going for the silhouette of this shape here there's a couple little things I want to clean up and in order to bring a couple things back and get rid of a few things I'm going to use the manual tools at this point but we saved ourselves loads of time by clicking that uh, remove background with one click instead of having to select everything so I'm still gonna grab my eraser tool right here and I'm gonna come in right where there's a little piece of fur that's kind of sticking out but it's green but I'm gonna just click on that to remove it and then I'm gonna scroll down here and his little paws are sitting in the grass so it naturally removed um, the part of the paw that was covered in grass which it did its job that was fine but I want to bring back a little bit of that area just to make the legs look more natural so in order to bring something back I'm gonna click on the restore tool let me scroll down here let's see and that and it's defaulting to 20 on the brush size I'm gonna crank this up probably to 100 maybe a little under 100 there we go let's try that and I'm just gonna be bringing this back a little bit here and you can see some of that grass is appearing and that's okay I'm not concerned about the color with this at this point because um, I'm going to be going for the silhouette the cut image of this so I just want to make sure it looks normal um, it looks fine there I'm gonna bring back just a little bit right there all right that's pretty good overall we've got the cutout that we want there right up here at the top uh, right hand side you can also preview the image as a cut line before you finalize it so I'm gonna do that just to give it a quick check and it looks fine to me so I'm gonna click that back once you're satisfied with the removing of your background then you can go ahead and hit apply and continue at the bottom okay it's gonna give me two options at this point it's going to give me the original that we just saw and in this case in this example I don't want that I want the actual silhouette my goal was to have the silhouette of the dog here so I'm gonna click on that as a cut file now so that we're selecting the cut image and we're gonna click upload and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that down there under recent uploads and add it to my canvas and it imported very large so let's bring that down to bring it down I just typed in a smaller size up here and that brought it down in size so that I could adjust it you can also scale it using the arrow tool right there all right so in order to continue with the results that I want for this project I'm gonna be adding some text to the inside of the dog here and then I'm gonna be slicing it out so that I can um, cut it out as one single uh, layer so I'm gonna go ahead and type out my phrase here and to type out something I'm gonna grab that text tool on the side and for this phrase since I have a golden retriever and this is a silhouette of a golden retriever I'm gonna type out stay golden and I have this on a brick tin font and I'm happy with that so I'm gonna leave that but if you want to change your font then of course you would either search it here or you would scroll through the Cricut or the system fonts that you have on your computer and I'm happy with this font so I'm just gonna leave it as it is and I put it on two separate lines because I'm gonna be wanting to separate these I think I'm actually gonna separate the letters so in order to separate the letters I'm gonna click the advanced option while the text is selected and I'm gonna click on ungroup to letters and so that I have good contrast here I'm gonna change this to white okay first thing I'm gonna do is grab the ST I'm gonna bring it over and I'm kind of creating like a I'll show you where we're going with this here we're going we're aiming for this so when I did this test this is what I'm aiming for so that's where we're going so I brought over the S and the T there I'm gonna also do the same with the A and the Y you can also group these and move them as a group and that way you don't have to worry about them shifting on you or anything I'm gonna enlarge this just a little bit a little too much 
All right, and I'm gonna select the G, the O, and the L. I'm gonna group that and bring it over here, enlarge it a little, and the D, E, and N. I'm gonna group that, enlarge it a little bit, and put that in here. Okay, so I have my letters in there, and now I wanna put a little paw print right here. I'm actually gonna make the paw print with just some circles in the Shapes panel. So I'm gonna click on the Shapes tool, and I'm gonna click on the circle. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna use it, uh, I'm gonna stretch the circle. So I'm gonna unlock it, clicking that unlock icon. I'm gonna stretch it into kind of a long oval. And I'm gonna use my little rotation there at the top, and I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm going to duplicate it. So using the duplicate tool over to the top right, I'm gonna duplicate that. And I'm gonna flip it horizontally so that I just turned it the other direction there. I'm gonna duplicate it again. And this time grab my little rotation handle, kind of straighten it back out there a little and put that right there. And I'm going to select all three of those circles and I'm going to click the weld button because I want them to be one seamless piece. So I'm going to click the weld button. And it's sort of going to be the bottom part of the paw there. I'm going to unlock that and scrunch it a little bit there. Okay. And I'm going to grab another circle here. And let's unlock it. And I'm going to scale it down for the rest of his paws. Just like so, and we're gonna duplicate that. All right, there we go. So there's a little paw print that we've made with just circles here in Design Space. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. I'm gonna select all of those pieces that we have now, and I'm gonna, again, click the Weld tool so that it is now one seamless piece, and you'll see that result over here in your Layers panel at the top. Again, I'm gonna change this to white, Next to the operation, there's that color swatch. So you'll change that to white so that we can see that contrast. And I'm gonna bring this over here, shrink it down, and kind of add it as a little decoration right there, just like that. Okay, so I could leave this as it is if I wanted to make this two layers. And let's say I wanted to cut out the golden silhouette in one color and then cut out the text and the paw print in another color and layer it, so that is an option. In my case, I want to actually slice out all of the white from the black silhouette here so that it's one single piece because right now um, we would cut the letters out separately from the silhouette, but I want it to actually be one whole layer, one single piece. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to my layers panel I'm going to scroll up to the top, and I'm going to start by clicking on, um, in my case, a little paw print there. I'm going to hold my shift key on my keyboard, and I'm going to select all the other white, all of the text and the groups that we've got here. And that's right there. All right, so I have all of the letters in the paw print selected, and I'm going to weld all of those together so it is one single layer. And you'll see the result appear in your layers panel. So right there, if we look in our layers panel, we've got that all that white together welded, and then we have the silhouette, okay? And then in order to get this to be not two pieces now, but one, I'm gonna select both the black and the white, and I'm going to click the slice tool at the bottom of the layers panel. And we're gonna slice that out, and you're gonna get a few results. You're gonna get the original there, you're gonna get the cutout, and then this here is the result that we're wanting. So instead of there being those two layers, it's now one layer. So that is a example process of how I would use a image with the automatic background remover, um, or you could do it the manual way, in order to capture a silhouette and then create a file here in Cricut Design Space.